Hey everybody, welcome back to this old trike. Today we're gonna to talk about the non-balloon tire ATC 90s. Not to be confused with the US 90s we talked about in an earlier video. So these will be 1975 through 1978. Here we go. Welcome back to this old trike, everybody. Like I said, we're gonna be going through the 1975 to 78 ATC 90s. This was a time when Honda was only making, well, some of these, uh, the first three here, when Honda was only making one three-wheeler. And we're gonna go through these uh, just a little bit. I don't know a super ton about these, but I'll make some stuff up so the video, you know, appears to be a little bit longer. But now this should be a quickie. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out. I am going to be walking through all my machines and trying to do different videos. So you don't want to miss those. So give it a like and subscribe. But let's get started on this 75 right here. Okay, this is the 1975 ATC 90. This is basically a thrown together uh, machine of mine. I bought this in a pile boxes and happen to have some original style tires. I learned that there's a lot of different variations in these tires. They might look pretty similar, but on the back, it's an SP Whamulass, and you'll see the sidewall looks the same, but on the front, it's an FR Whamulass. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know what FR means versus SP. I think the FR appears to be a little narrower, then the rear, you can see that. Um, the knobbies appear to be the same size. Does that mean this isn't a front tire? It's a 22.11.8. And this is a 22.11.8. I don't know why one is wider than the other. This is a special This Old Trike update. Since the original filming of this video, we've learned some important information about tires from our friend at tricycle guy on YouTube and then I should have showed you the code OE is original OP is optional and then SP means some kind of different construction FR means cord in shoulder and tread only wow fancy and now back to your regularly scheduled programming Let's see what the other ones say. I haven't had these all lined up like this ever. So we'll see what we find out. Sometimes I've been learning myself as we do these videos. So, so 75, 76, 77, 78. In 1975, they only made this machine. So this could be a video about the whole entire 1975 ATC lineup right here. Boom, done. 76, same story. This is the only model that they made in 76. They had taken at this time a break from making the ATC 70s, which we've done in an earlier video. Hi. So they've taken a break. So they didn't make a, a 1975 70. They didn't make a 1976. They were just making the nineties. Maybe it was based on sales. I don't know. As you'll see, this one has the holes for the mud flaps. It is lacking its mud flaps. That is an incorrect seat cover. I do believe they make reproductions now that are respectable. That 78 on the end has a reproduction. And if I can find a, a reproduction, I'd probably get one for this. And I'd probably get one for this. I believe they should look identical. You'll notice the back decals, 1975. 1976, that's kind of cool looking. This is very common, so these have been cracked here. I know I'm getting off topic, but it's had a fiberglass repair. These are all fiberglass, are they? No, yes, no. These are fiberglass. These are all fiberglass. So when they break, they are repairable. This one doesn't have a crack. I used to have one with a crack. I was thinking this was that one. 
That's a very nice specimen right there. I got that from my friend who's a local collector, but I'm getting off topic. You guys got me so excited. Back to 76. We're looking at this decal. 76 is different from 77, which is different from 78. I think 78 is probably the most common. I've seen more of them than anything. I think it probably did had to do with popularity. They were making more of those because the 78s were more popular than the 77s and so on and so forth. Oh, there's my girl. 75s though, very hard to find. Uh, I've only had a chance to buy this and maybe one other. And that one, the guy, uh, we wanted to part it out more than he wanted to sell it whole. So it didn't work out. But as you can see, this one is lacking its exhaust, which was, which was uh, very holy anyway. And it's got, it needs work, but it fills that void in my collection. I believe they all share the same tank, just a difference in tank decals. I think this is a very common tank. You'll see the uh, first gen 110s have the same tank up there. That's when they went to a plastic fender. So these are fiberglass for the ATC 90s. Very similar to the 1974 90, same style all fiberglass but these are red as, as you know from previous videos those are orange and in 1979 they went to plastic let's see if we can figure out the tire question i believe these are all original tires these are easy to over inflate so you got to be careful not to do that these are sp whammy lass. you'll notice it doesn't have the the kind of two ridges around the sidewall. So this is 78. SP Whamulass. There's a loud boat going by. This is the 77, those are not original rear tires. It has an original on the front, same as this. SP Whamulass, same as the 78. The 76. SP Whammy Lass, same design. It's a different design than that because that's got those two kind of ridges around the sidewall. So that's an SP Whammy Lass. And I can see back there that that's also an SP Whammy Lass, same as the front. So all of these tires we've just been looking at are all identical. 78, 77, 76. And they are all the same as this tire, which is losing some air. I'm, I didn't put any tubes in these. I thought maybe I could get away without putting tubes in them, but this one's holding great. Those two are gonna need some tubes. I'd rather have tubed original tires than a Chang Shin any day of the week. So that means that that is the only FR Whammy Lass. You know what? I think this machine behind me also has some original tires. SP Whammy Lass looks just like the the ones over here that we've seen. I don't know whose feet those are. Mine. <laughs> They're good. Look at this 110. Okay. 81 110 has the sidewall. And that is also an SP Whammy Lass. On the front. SP Whammy Lass. Look at this 82 has an FR Whammy Lass. Okay, we're starting to, to figure things out. And this is an FR Whammy Lass. Okay, making some sense. So on the front of my 75, it appears that I have put a whammy lass from a 1982-110. Possibly that's what they had in 83, because 83 110s also had the, the knobby tires. 84, they went to the Pro-Am design. My 83-110, none of my 83-110s have original tires, but let's confirm. Not original. It's an Atsu, but it's not original. Not original. Okay, so in 83, they also had the 185S, but that had a different, they had the Pro-Am style on the front in 83 for them. 
83200 had pro amp styles. I think that's it. So let's get back to our 90s and wrap this up. What do you say? Yeah. So they're non balloon tires. They're basically the same machine as the uh, as the 72, 73, 70. Well, let's say this: they're the same machine as the 74. Cosmetically, 74s are orange. These are red. But fenders would be interchangeable. Gas tanks would be interchangeable. Tires are traditional tubeless on rims. And it's a 90. That's about all I know. So let's close this out. It has occurred to me that I stopped recording and I shouldn't have because there's a few things about these non-balloon tire US 90s that I want to talk about that I didn't talk about. It seems I got so hung up on the tires uh, associated with each that uh, I missed some, some good information. So, like we talked about, this, uh, let's see, 1975, over there with the, the upper stripe on the tank, 1976, 1977, 1978. So, let's talk about the tanks, do a tank comparison so we can all help remember what's what. So, the 1975 tank is very simple. It says Honda with that stripe. So that's the a, a unique, they're all unique, but that is very easy to remember. The 76 tank has a blue border. Honda is white and the letters are silver. And everything is, is linear and flat. Seventy-seven. The border is yellow, and all-terrain cycle is on three different lines, as opposed to being in one line. And in seventy-eight, the letters are actually yellow. They've put all-terrain cycle in a nice little bow beneath the ninety. So. 78 is the only year that says 90 on the tank. 77 has yellow. I can't think of a neat little rhyme to, to distinguish. 75 has the line, 76, nothing's coming to me, but I just wanted to take a minute to look at the tank decals on each model and focus on them. We talked about the the rear tank tank, sorry, the rear fender decals. But uh but nothing else. The headlight switches. Here's something. Here's something. So these have on off switch on the bars. So to start this you gotta have this on. But also you have to have that on. One of my 90s, uh, I guess maybe it was a 110, but with the same headlight switch, guy couldn't get it started. The guy I bought it from told me this, uh, but he got it home and realized this wasn't on and he turned it on and, and everything ran, ran well. So that's a neat little feature about these 90s. You gotta make sure both switches are on. Anything with the, the headlight switch like this is like that. But I wanna take the fenders off the back of this one and show you uh, something neat about the frame that uh, carried over from the balloon tire 90s, which that's the only one that I have in here and it doesn't have balloon tires on it. But let me show you once I get the fenders off what we're looking at. Okay, I mentioned earlier how these are fiberglass fenders and they are painted. They're not gel coated, they're painted red. And this is how they come from the factory. So this isn't my 
my handiwork where I cheaped out on, you know, not uh, painting everything thoroughly, but this is how they came. So you can see some wear here where the tire has hit. There's some scratches right there a little bit, but as far as specimens go, that's a very nice specimen. Probably better than, than most that you see. Now on the frame for this machine, I have the tool kit here. Do I have any tools? Actually, actually this is mounted I believe this is mounted backwards, and now we're gonna have to do a comparison. Because I think I think they open up on that end. No tools in there. I'll double check on that. But you'll notice the tabs here, and if you've looked at my US 90 video, these carry over from the US 90. And I, I suppose you could get the optional air pump if they still had them at your dealership and put an air pump here. So that's what those tabs are for if you've ever wondered. This is a nice machine. It's got some patina on it, like on that exhaust guard, it's got some patina. Not minty minty, but pretty darn nice. Those tires are nice. Now we've got to do a comparison. Let's, let's do it like this. So this is the 76. I got this uh, semi-locally, about an hour and a half away, two winters ago, I believe. The seat latch for these is right under here. So it's a forward latch, it lifts up from the front. And there are two, there are these tabs at the back that rest on these little bushings here. So you, you seat that first and then it rocks down and then your lever catches your, your forward bracket up there. I just want to interject that this is common for the uh, backyard shade tree mechanics out there doing repairs on their, their, their 90 fenders that are fiberglass because you flip over, this catches a, a tire or the ground and it'll those cracks are common right in those areas. So not uncommon to see somebody resin in a block of wood there or some extra patching. You'll notice this one is painted more than the 78. Both are factory. This still has OEM mud underneath it. So I just wanted to share that before, before we close things out. Okay, look at this, okay. So on the 78, the uh, toolkit is mounted backwards. It should open forward. Does this one have any tools in it? No, no tools. But you'll notice the, the brackets are here. This is more characteristic of uh, how the machines would look. You know, boots from kids putting their feet up on that. A little more rust on that guard. I was happy to get this machine. It had two of the three original tires. I think I did a swap out to, to get that one original. Looks like it's squatting a little bit, maybe just from the, the colder temperatures now. We are probably two months after the initial recording for this video, so. These have been put away, not for the winter quite yet, but but getting there. And then the comparison from one to the next, you'll notice the 75 is really just thrown together and it was more for looks to give the illusion of completeness during the photo shoot. But I think that's all the details I wanted to cover. Uh, Maybe I'll just mention in closing that, that these motors have a, a high-low range back here. So you can switch from a low gear to high gear. Some people will say it's an eight speed because of that. So it's four speed times two, but really just, let's not fool ourselves. It's a, uh, it's a four speed. 
pre 1985. So all the shifting is down. 85 is the cutoff from where shifting went up. So your, let's say for instance, your, your 84 200 M over here, which we haven't talked about 200 M's yet, but your 84 downshift one, two, three, four, five down all the way down. But don't confuse that with your 85 200 M, which is one, two, three, four, five, all the way up. The 84 big red is all downshift. And when I finally get that 85 200 ES big red, you'll notice, and I'll point out that it'll be all upshift. Anyway, we digress. We're getting off on different models here, which means it is time to bring this to a close. I'm gonna cut to a, my closing video of me on my front lawn from two months ago, and we'll let that wrap it up. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. That's all I know about uh, non-balloon tire ATC 90s, the 73 through the 78. And you know, we learned a little bit while we watched today as we uh, were in person about the SP Whammy Lass versus the FR Whammy Lass. So that's all I know about that. Again, like and subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot of these uh, comparison style videos, trying to trying to get the facts straight and, and make some things up as we go. But that's all I have for you today. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.